We are here at Performance Medicine in Johnson City, joined again by our daytime doc, Dr. Tom Rogers, and talking today about a really important topic. We're talking about testosterone. It's been in the news a lot lately, and Dr. Rogers is going to talk a little bit more about testosterone and really how important it is to men and women. Right. You know, there was a recent study that came out that said that men who are on testosterone replacement had a slight increased risk of having non-fatal heart attacks. When you look at that study, it was a very poorly study, done study. There was a lot of reasons for that. One, they didn't check testosterone levels in the men that they studied. They also didn't say what form of testosterone they were getting. They didn't check estrogen levels. When you get testosterone in a man, you have to make sure they're not converting to estradiol, which is very important, which is associated with heart disease in men. Women, it's protective. Men, it's not protective. It's yeah. dangerous. So you have to, if you put anybody on testosterone, make sure the doc checks your estradiol level. The other thing testosterone can do is raise your blood cell count, your red blood cell count, hemoglobin, hematocrit. Mm -hmm. So you have to monitor that as well. If, if it gets too high, you may need to donate some blood. So there's certain things that you need to do to watch out for. What causes heart disease is not testosterone. It's smoking high blood pressure, diabetes, obesity, probably stress, and family history, not testosterone. Testosterone is very protective of your heart. There's hundreds and hundreds of studies that have shown that. And certainly anything regarding our heart and heart health, a lot of people, a lot of alarm. So it sounds like a lot of information that got out there that may have not been thoroughly researched. Right, just like they'll come out every year or two and saying vitamins don't really help you. Mm -hmm but we all know that they do help you. You know, the mainstays of health, of course, are nutrition, exercise, stress reduction, sleep, and hormone balance as you get older. So talk to me a little bit about testosterone and, and what you guys do here in your office, because I know the first thing you do is really check that person. Right, you know, we check their blood levels for testosterone, we check them for estrogen, we check their prostates, and I like to make sure anybody's heart healthy. That's the number one killer. So we're always concerned about, is this person healthy? Do they have metabolic syndrome? We run a lot of free Boston heart panels, as you, we did a show on that. It's a wonderful test to kind of determine your risk factors besides just your total cholesterol and triglycerides. It shows how inflamed your body is. It shows some genetic testing. It shows your insulin levels to see if you're a pre-diabetic. So that's a great, so we always check that out. And you have to know what you're doing. I'm getting a patient every day that has been told they had a normal testosterone level when they have every symptom in the book of a low testosterone. Hmm. And it's one point above the lowest point and they won't get treated. So I always treat them. And then when it comes to treatment, you said there are different ways. Right, there's no pill for testosterone. You can either use a daily gel a weekly injection or testosterone pellets. And women need testosterone just like men do, just a lot lower dose. So men or women, definitely something that they would want to get checked. Yeah, you should have that checked at a certain age. And I understand if folks out there have questions for you, you will take those questions, want to hear from viewers. Right, right. Anything medically related, um, I like to kind of answer it from a more of a, a perspective with looking at the whole person. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, if they have questions, you can go ahead and send them to us at inbox at daytimetricities.com, and we will get them to our daytime doc, and we may ask your question here on the air. Dr. Rogers, thanks so much for having us out. Thank you. For more information, you can always check out their website, performancemedicine.net.